Hello and welcome to a special video. This is a relegation regen rebuild setup video. So for you guys that have checked out this series, uh, I'm just going to run through everything on what I did to set up and get ready to go in that series. So uh, sit back and uh, check this out because if you want to follow along, if you want to play this style series at home, this is what you're going to need to do uh, before you even begin your career mode. All right, let's get into it. First things first, we need to go to customize. And what I want you to do is go down to edit teams. Uh, then we are going to reset all squads. So any custom players or uh, new players that you've built uh, will be reset. Then you want to download updates to get the latest and greatest updated squads from FIFA. So we'll just wait for that to happen. So basically this is just going to set every team back how it should be. And uh, all the transfers and the likes of up-to-date squads will be done. And then we can move on to start setting up our relegation regen rebuild series. All right, done. All right, so the first thing you need to do, obviously, is pick your team and which league you're going to be playing in. So uh, for our series, uh, we've gone with AC Milan. Um, but I'm not going to do Milan in this one. Maybe uh, let's go somewhere different. Let's go somewhere like uh, someone that has at least two leagues. Uh, England's got four, of course. Um, let's let's do Spain. All right, we're going to Spain. We're going to Spain. All right, so uh, here in uh, the La Liga, uh, all of these teams are all set up. They're all ready to go. You're going to pick a team, and we're going to relegate them and uh, get into sorting out their team. So uh, let's take Barcelona. Let's have a quick look. All right, yep, no dramas. All right, so you've got all the all the usual suspects in the team at the moment. You can see there the squads are updated and the likes, no dramas. All right, this is where we get into uh, creating the, the squad, really, for the relegation series. We go into club transfers. We go find the club that we're looking for. Uh, we're doing Spain, aren't we? Yes. Okay, and we'll head off to Barcelona. All right, so at the moment, they're a five-star team. And the first thing you want to do is just start offloading as many players as you can into the free agency. Uh, you can move them to another team. You can do whatever you like as long as they're not in Barcelona. But I'm um, in my Milan series. We move them all to the free agencies. So uh, I'm just going to do that. We just go free agents. Cool. Messi's a free agent. Suarez is a free agent. Neymar, free agent. Iniesta, Rakitic, PK, Busquets, Alba and so forth. Just move them all to the free agency, uh, as many as you can until you run out of uh, room. It'll say that you have to have, here we go, you have to have 17 outfielders. So how do you get around this? Very easily. Right, so go back to free agents now. Uh, this is how we do it. We go to free agents, and you can see here that Messi and Suarez and all them are sitting here in the free agency list. If you press the button, you will get uh, the low end, usually Indian players here, 52 rated. And you're going to transfer them in to Barcelona uh, just to make up numbers at the moment. Don't worry, they won't be there for the foreseeable future, but uh, we'll get them in there. Just uh, pretty much fill the squad up as many as you can. Uh, just keep going until the squad is full. Right, so we're back at Barcelona. It's time to remove some more players back to the free agency list. Uh, okay, off we go. So uh, just get all of their real players out to the free agency list. Keep going. You've just brought in all of those players, so you should be able to offload all of these lads. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. Now, even the even the guys that you brought in to the uh, squad, just keep going until you've got the lowest rated possible team you can get. All right, so we've got 18 players and Barcelona are now a half-star team. Now, what else I did in the Milan series is uh, I put in a stipulation that all of the teams in the top flight, any player over 80 was also released. So uh, for that instance, I'm not going to do all of them here, but if we go to Alec Bilbao, we can see here that Audrey's is an 84. So for my series, he will go to the free agency list. Uh, Laporte, Bernat... Just get rid of all of them over 80, okay? They have to have 17. Now you could bring free agents in and really bring those squads down until they have maximum 79 players. Their players that are out on loan will come back in the second season, so it'll sort of uh, balance that out and bolster them up. Uh, but basically go through the entire league and get rid of all of the 80 plus players uh, until they're all you know, gone and on that free agency list. Then you're ready uh, to start the next phase. So if we take a quick look at the Barcelona side now, it is all 58 and below sort of players. 
um, pretty much all the Indian League and whatnot. Um, the minimum, the bare minimum of players able to be on a roster. Uh, you're ready to start your career mode. All right, it's time to start our career mode. We're going to go manage a career, of course. And uh, what you want to do is pick that team that you've chosen. But here is the big difference. We're going to relegate them. So you find your side that you're looking for. It's Barcelona. Then you hit the swap teams button. And we are going to put them in to Spain, Liga 1, 2, 3. So pick a team here, preferably the one with the most stars sort of thing, so that they can keep up with uh, the other teams going on around them. So uh, for us, it's probably going to be... Let's have a look here. Um, oh, whatever. Levante. All right, so we'll swap teams with Levante. Then you need to swap to, obviously, La Liga 1, 2, 3. And you will find... Ah, bugger. All right, you will find Barcelona in here. All right, so we've got half a star. It's still got a massive transfer budget and club worth, but we'll deal with that once we get into the career mode. So now we advance. Do your manager and all that sort of stuff. All right, here we go. Uh, obviously, pick your half lengths, your currency, whatnot, um, your stadium. So you could use the custom stadiums if you want, if you're not using a, a registered stadium. Um, so we could have done that. Uh, I do have a tutorial for that on the channel. And make sure that you're using customized current squads. Um, you can disable the transfer window, do whatever you want. As long as you're using the customized current squads, uh, you're ready to go, hit advanced. All right, so what we did was we put in place uh, a stipulation in our Milan series that there's no pre-season tournaments for the first two seasons. So as soon as you start up your career mode, you're gonna decline to participate. All right, so this is where we get in with the nitty gritty. Don't do anything in your career mode until you've finished this part of the setup. Uh, so what you wanna do here first is a go across to sell players. Now you're gonna see here that uh, you've got players that are out on loan. I want you to recall a lot of them. Bring everyone back that is currently out on loan. All right, then what we're gonna do is start releasing players. Uh, so generally just go with your overalls because you're gonna get rid of the big players first. And uh, you go down, release from contract. And the next one, release from contract. Now the next one you'll see will say too many players already released. This is what you need to do. Back out, save it up. All right, so once you've saved it, Make sure you have saved it. I want you to back out of the career mode. And then you're gonna continue the career mode. Right, so you've reloaded. Now go back to transfers, go to sell players. And now this should allow you here to release another two players from their contract. Rinse and repeat, keep doing that until you are down to pretty much the minimum uh, amount of players you can have at the club. Right, so we've offloaded all the players and uh, we're left with nothing really here. Um, it's, it's time to start the next phase. All right, so let's have a look at our finances. At the moment, I've got 85 million euro and 62,900 in wages. Now, the rules that I stated say that you could only have 1 million in a budget and uh, 10 grand in wages. So how do you get rid of those wages so quickly? This is how we did it. First thing you wanna do is hire your three scouts. Get the best scouts you can possibly get. So uh, we're gonna go in here and uh, we'll hire this five star, three star, no worries. Grab the next one, uh, four star, three star. Yep, no worries, money is no object at the moment. Okay, so here's how we start burning money. We're gonna fire the scout and keep going until we get five star, five star scouts if you don't run out of money. That is the trick, all right? So here we go, we've got a five star, four star. So I'll probably fire the middle guy now and keep pushing him until I can find a five star, five star here. Just keep on going until you get the scouts that you want. Just keep picking the most expensive one because you're trying to burn through the cash as quickly as you can. So uh, just keep going here. Eventually you will get five star, five star scouts. There we go, Jacob Jefferson. All right, so we've got one five star. Now we move on to the next one. Just keep going until you get five star, five stars across the board. All right, so you've got your three five-star, five-star scouts, but there's still money in the bank. How do we get rid of that? I'll show you now. All right, so come into, uh, let me back out here. Come into your global transfer network. This is where we're gonna spend the remainder of this, the money. Uh, just be hiring high, high-value scouts, uh, but just keep an eye on your money and your budget as well. 
So just keep hiring the best scouts you possibly can, whoever's the most expensive, and then start firing. So, uh, oh, okay. Let's uh, recall this scout, recall this scout, recall this scout. All right, let's hire a new one, two million. So they're in transit, you can't fire them yet, so don't really worry, but uh, basically try and turn these guys into five-star judgment scouts if you can. So uh, we'll fire him. Whoops, wrong button. Fire scout, hire scout. So you can see there at the top, our budget at the moment is still 20 million, so we need to uh, get that down to one million. So just keep spending money. Keep an eye on the, that scouting network cost because uh, that's what we need to worry about. All right, as you start getting close to that uh, budget area, I want you to go back into your transfer budget allocation and uh, change your wages to as close to 10,000 as you can get them. So uh, we'll go 9884. So we've got 5.9 in transfer budget. I'm gonna go back uh, to the network scouts and uh, spend another 4 million. All right, so you can see there my budget at the top right is 1.1 million. So I'll just hire Nacho Camacho and uh, that'll get us pretty close to that 1 million uh, budget. All right, so you can see our budget now is one million roughly, and our uh, nine eight eight four in wages. If I bump that across, can I get closer? Yeah, I mean we're we're about on par here. Okay, so uh, now we are ready to uh, start making some plays. All right, now we can start spending some money. So we've got our three scouts to send out, send them out for three months for any player, and uh, that is how you start. If you watch the rules. The first three months of scouts, you need to sign up all of those players, build your team from those youth players. Once those players come in, I want you to use the same uh, way we did to release the last players. Get rid of all of those Indian and, and free agents that you put in so you've only got Youth Academy players remaining in your team. All right, so your scouts are sent. The only other thing you need to do is use the catalog and uh, go and get yourself a scout future star, providing you've got one left. That's the only thing you can use here in season one. Send him out and he will bring someone back in the first month. All right, so uh, obviously I haven't sent out the Scout Future Star and I don't want to waste that one here, but uh, our first Scout reports are back after a month. Uh, we go through here and just sign them all in to the Youth Academy. Get them all in there because they, these guys are going to be the foundations of your team. All right, so we've got our Youth Academy. Unfortunately, a lot of these kids are 15, so uh, sign up anyone that you can. All right, so I've signed up all the players that we could and they are all into the first team. Uh, there will be obviously still Indian players in this team and, and uh, the free agents of course But obviously we went with uh, really low players um, So yeah, it's going to take another month here probably before this team is ready to uh, play any proper games But uh, yep, let's go keep moving Alright, so I checked the calendar and there are two games here um, ready for us to play. Now, this is really up to you. You can go in and play with those uh, Indian players. They're not really going to affect your team too much because they're not that much higher rated. Or you can just simulate pass of them. Uh, wait till we get to the 1st September and you'll get another scout report back. Hopefully then you have enough players to fill your team. I'm going to simulate through now and uh, let's see if we can fill this team up. All right, so after two months now, uh, we've got enough players out here to, to make up a team. I mean, we're missing a shitload of defenders, but... Uh, that's what happens. We've got a full bench. Obviously, all these players will be gone. Um, so just be careful. I'll probably leave at least four of them in there in case you pick up injuries or something like that. You don't want any forfeits. Um, but yeah, you're pretty much ready to go. All right, so our Youth Academy is still full of 15-year-olds. Um, so basically, you've got one more month of scouts to come back. You can sign up any of those players. After that first set of scouts has been out, you uh, get that embargo put in place where... Uh, you can only bring in Youth Academy players once they hit an overall of 60. So Victor Morgan here, he is already 60. As soon as he turns 16, we would be able to bring him into the club. You can't make any transfers for the first two seasons. Um, no signing any free agents, regens, anyone. Uh, after two seasons, the transfer embargo is released and you can only sign regens after that one. So players that have one of these faces. Um, and that's basically it. If you've got any other questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment in the se in the section down below and I will answer that. Or if you want an immediate answer, probably try and hit me up on Twitter. That's at SparringDK. And uh, I can sort of give you a better indication of, of maybe something I might have missed here in this tutorial. Either that or just start watching the AC Milan series and you'll uh, conjure on pretty quickly on what's happening. But uh, yeah, thanks very much for tuning in. Hopefully this helps you uh, play along uh, with the series. And uh, good luck. We'll see you in the next one. I'm Sparring DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. And you have a good one.